Hello everyone. Welcome to GDSC DYPC. Today we are going to see how you can create your own Google Developer Profile. This profile helps you uh, to keep tra track of your all of your badges that you collect uh, throughout the course. And Android Strategy Jams provide a lot of badges, and you can uh, showcase all of your badges in this profile. And this profile can be publicly accessible. So anyone can visit your profile and see what uh, achievement you have done in a particular course. So for the uh, Android Study Jams 2021, we are going to create our own developer profile and make it public so that everyone can see your uh, uh, developer profile and uh, see your badges. And it al also helps us, uh, GDSC, to uh, collect all your information and track your progress so that you can be rewarded after the Android Study Jams ends. So let's get started. So first of all, visit this link developers.google.com slash profile. The same link is uh, given in the description box below. So once you visit this link, make sure you're signed in with the account uh, you are uh, willing to uh, fill in the Google form which will be provided uh, for the participation. So make sure that account is signed in. And after that, you can see this, there is a uh, button say that says create a profile. If you already have created a profile, that will be uh, another message will be shown that uh, go to your dashboard or something. So you can just click on that. So I'll just click on the create a profile. So it will ask for, uh, for the basic information that for the first time. So I'll be putting, putting my personal information and then uh, I'll select student at the white Partil College of Engineering, Pune. And after I'll select my pronoun and click on next. Then uh, it will ask what are you interested in, which technologies you prefer to uh, take part in. So I'll just select mobile, web and payments, open source also. So click on next and it will ask that confirm newsletter subscriptions. Uh, if you want to uh, like uh, we'll get an emails uh, about the Google uh, Google events and all of those things. So I'll just check this option and click on finish. Once this is done, uh, you will uh, the, your Google developer profile will be created. And first, it will be a private profile so that uh, if you share your uh, Google developer profile link with anyone, no one can uh, see what actually uh, badges you are holding. So, may, uh, so we are going to see how can uh, you make this uh, private profile to a public profile. So first of all, by default, it is private profile. So uh, th this is how your profile looks and all your badges will be uh, added here. Uh, you can add your favorite badges also so that the viewer can see what all favorite badges you have hold currently. So I'll just click on settings tab over here and inside settings, I'll see what options I have. So inside this accounts tab, account tab, this uh, profile is uh, private. So I'll just make it public. And here you can set also a custom web address for you. I am just uh, ignoring this uh, custom web address. For now, I'll keep it simple. So, and after this, I'll just click on save. So after clicking on save, you can again go back to your profile, which is under this my profile. And uh, you'll notice the change that this profile is now public. So once this profile is public, if you say share this uh, user, uh, use this link with anyone, it will be a publicly accessible profile. So that anyone can, anyone can view it. So inside this uh, settings uh, gear icon, you can see that I can edit my information according to it. So uh, this basic information is previously loaded. After that, you can add also add your bio, a short description about yourself, uh, links, few links of your social media accounts like GitHub, GitLab, LinkedIn, Stack Overflow, and Twitter. Uh, I'll just skip for this part. You can add this letter also, and people can s still see your updated information on the same link. So. Uh, I'll just keep it simple and I'll just copy this link. So uh, keep uh, keep this link ready with you for this uh, Google form submission. So we have to submit this Google form to participate in Android Study Jams organized by GDC DYPC. So inside this form, uh, there is a section for Google developer profile URL. So you have to paste this link here also. Okay. So this is how you can create your own Google developer profile and make it public. Okay. That's it for this video guys. And all the best for Android Study Jams. Thank you.